Well, a Chicago-based company wants to make fresh, healthy food as convenient as a candy bar. Farmer's Fridge is sinking its teeth into the Indianapolis market, launching its smart fridges in many downtown locations. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has details. Kylie. Thank you very much, Gary. The automated smart fridges are similar to vending machines, but instead of being processed, mass-produced food, they're stocked with healthy salads, bowls, and snacks, handmade fresh each day in Chicago and delivered overnight to about 18 fridges in and around Indy. Rachel Rochal is Director of Communications at Farmer's Fridge and joins me now to tell us more about this young company and your appetite for Indianapolis. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. You brought us some goodies to oh, show too. Oh, of course. Yes. We have to bring you the food. We're very excited to be in Indianapolis. Well, let's start with what people care most about, the food. Uh, yes. Tell us how it's more healthy or nutritious than what we would typically pull out of a vending machine. I think people's first perception when they see this is, can this be as fresh and healthy as I want it to be? And the answer is a resounding yes. We make the food every single day in a state-of-the-art facility, and the lettuce is hand-chopped. The dressings are made from scratch. We work with wonderful suppliers and try to work with local sources whenever possible. So the food is extremely fresh, far more so than you're gonna get in um, our competitors' outlets, perhaps. And the flavor profile is fantastic. It's restaurant-quality food delivered in a very smart, automated system. Convenient. Very convenient, <laughs> yes. So you have an interesting startup story. This is the brainchild of a Chicago entrepreneur. So you started in Chicago, expanded to Milwaukee, Indianapolis is your third market. So of all the markets you could have chosen, why did you expand to Indianapolis? Well, I first want to credit our founder, Luke Saunders, because he had this brainchild, and it is a really difficult business model to bring fresh, healthy food to people on a daily basis to now almost 300 fridges across three different markets. But Luke always wanted to expand across the Midwest, and after Milwaukee, he really thought Indianapolis would be a great fit, that people would appreciate fresh, healthy food, they'd appreciate the price point and the convenience, and we have just been really astounded and, and validated by how people have responded so far. And you're in a lot of office buildings downtown, Salesforce Tower, for example, which I'm sure has more than 500 people, as you explained. Um, you talked about how you're really a supply chain business at the heart. Explain that. So Farmer's Fridge owns every aspect of the business, which I think is fantastic for quality control. So we produce all of our own food, as I said, down to making dressings from scratch. We have our own delivery feed delivery fleet and work with our own drivers. We produce and create the technology that fuels our business so that we can run a predictive algorithm every single night and forecast demand. So we know how each fridge should be allocated so that we're being very deliberate and minimizing waste. So Farmers Fridges ecosystem is so robust and I think that really helps the business to be so successful. So how is business going in Indianapolis? You've been here a couple weeks now. Well, knock on wood, it's great so <laughs> far. We have been collecting wonderful anecdotal feedback from customers who are amazed that this is such a wonderful addition to their lunch routine, their snack routine, as you and I were talking about grabbing before you go to a baseball game so that you can eat something healthy while you're watching your kid play. I think people really have a pressing need and a desire for fresh, healthy food at a reasonable price point that takes 30 seconds to access. And I'm hoping that we'll have many, many more fridges in Indianapolis with our eyes on broader expansion. And let's talk about the app a little bit, how the customers use it and also the flip side of it, how it gives Farmer's Fridge information that you can use. Yes, it's a very mutually beneficial app. I highly recommend downloading from the App Store. But one thing that's so valuable is you can see inventory. So even today when I was downtown, I was checking the app. I saw that I was 0.1 miles from PNC Center. I'm able to see what's in the fridge. I know that they have a Greek salad, that they have a North Napa salad. So my favorite item is going to be there. And eventually we're working towards a reserve and pay function. So you can actually pre-buy your salad or sandwich or wrap and have it waiting for you. And then on the back, Side, we're able to collect valuable information about customer preferences, how to best communicate with them. So it's a really great win-win situation for us. And it's sustainable for the environment, but another key piece is you donate uh, the food that is left in the fridges. Yes, again, credit to Luke Saunders and the DNA of Farmer's Fridge, which was really oriented towards philanthropy. So he understood that if you're going to be in a fresh food business, there will always be surplus. And food pantries, more than anything, really want fresh produce. So from day one, we have donated all of our surplus food to community members in need. We're working with cleaners here in Indianapolis, and we're very proud to provide nutritious, wholesome meals to people that really need that kind of um, health and nutrition in their diets. Such a fun concept. Good combination of health and food and fun. Thanks for making the trip from Chicago to be here. We yes, appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the food. I hope so. I will. <laughs> I'm not sharing. Gary, back to you. <laughs>